Hello guys. Here I have a 2009 Kia Rio 5. Um, yeah, this is a basic vehicle. You do have a little bit of damage to the hood. Got a little scratching on that fender. Has steel wheels. Nope. It's a hatchback of the Kia Rio. You have a black colored bumper. Um, I don't know what that used to be. It's a little bit old and kind of rough. There's some fading spots in some areas. Hub caps are a little rusty though. I'm at Gilman Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram located in Houston, Texas. And they let me make this video today. So, without any more hesitation, let's get started. It's got a black exterior. You have the gray cloth interior. Oh my goodness, this is... Oh my gosh, this car is so light. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, anyways, very, very, very basic steering wheel. It is very urethane wrapped. Um, here's your horn. Wow. That was 112,403 miles. Um, panel brightness controls, trip, com trip computer. This is your fuse box right there. Um, <sighs> this is a very, very basic vehicle, very utilitarian. You have your headlight controls, you have your wiper controls. You have your digital clock past your airbag right there. Um, this is your radio right there. Um, this is, I think, your defroster, recirculation, AC, climate control, which is single zone. Fan, you have your temperature right here. Fan speeds are in the middle. Different zones. Yeah, you could hear the clunking in the dash. Um, storage right here. Um, 12 volt power lit. Storage, USB, aux. Um, storage right here you also have your manual transmission as well yeah you get like it is a five speed manual you have your two cup holders in a storage center armrest um you brake manual dimming rear view mirror you have your interior light oh <laughs> This is something you have your visor right here it is a very very cheap vehicle so i mean yeah um nothing really too special pop the hood and the fuel cap what the heck <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the fuel cap just fought, fell out no, 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 I need to see that again. That that was funny. <laughs> I don't know, whoever did this, this was, that, that is just funny. That completely made my day better. Oh my God. Ugh. I don't know where, the, oh, that's the rod over there. But anyways, it's a, 1.6 liter, 16 valve, four cylinder. It's just so basic and very utilitarian. This is this thing, let me see. Did I get the lights on? It does use halogen headlights. I know you can't really see it. It's mainly because there's like a lot of sunlight outside. That was pretty funny when like the, the fuel cap came out broken. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it off. It, it's just very, very, very basic and utilitarian. I mean, you have your manual mirrors right there. Manual windows. <sighs> yeah, summer is just around the corner and yeah, get ready for the heat. Everything here is all plastic, except for here, which is the cloth material. And this part right here is plastic. Hard touch plastic on the dash as well. And looks like somebody put a custom phone holder as well. Oh, shoot. 
I don't know if that's a B or what. Go away, thing. Okay, hopping into the back seat. I'm just gonna put the window down, it's hot. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> if the seat's reclined all the way back, leg space is gonna be absolutely horrible, horrendous. There we go. Back seat is a very pretty uncomfortable place to be in, mainly the seats are just squared, 90 degrees. Pockets right there, grab bar, slams. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Just wanna put the windows up so that way I don't, um, that way this car doesn't get. Here's your back. Those are the floor mats. Oh, come on. There we go. Back seats also fold down just like that. Rather basic. Rather basic, but still it's a decent vehicle. Wouldn't buy it, but yeah. Passenger seat is manual. Love box, original owner's manual. It's missing the cover for those visors anyways. Not that bad of a vehicle, decent vehicle. That will wrap up the tour on the 2009 Kia Rio 5 LX. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.